Kamala Harris's abrupt exit from the race comes as no surprise to Democratic strategist Steve Maviglio. At the end of the day, it's all about the candidate. Can she connect with voters? And she simply didn't. The Harris pullout comes just one day after Governor Gavin Newsom announced his plans to campaign in Iowa for Harris later this month. It is an embarrassment for him. KCRA 3 political analyst Kevin Riggs believes Harris's poor communication is symbolic of her campaign. I think the lack of uh, notice to Gavin Newsom reflects the uh, lack of planning within her campaign. On the Republican side, the party's California executive director had this thought about the Harris Newsom mix up. I bet you he's a little bit secretly happy because she tried and she failed and so now he'll be the next San Francisco power broker to make an attempt at becoming president. For now, Kamala Harris will have plenty of time to figure out why she failed to connect with the voters she needed most. In the meantime, who benefits from her decision to drop out? Joe Biden right now, still early, seems to have a significant lock with the African American voters in South Carolina, which is one of the early primary states. And it doesn't seem like she nor Cory Booker have had an, you know, any real ability to penetrate that. Harris tried to pick a lane to the nomination that was blocked by Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders on the left and Joe Biden in the middle. So there was really no path for her to get into. She was not loved by the progressives and not loved by the moderates. And there's just not much in the middle of those two.